This was probably the most stressful E3 of my life. And I don't know why, but I just couldn't uh, deal with the pressure. I was actually a shadow of myself at the C3. Cyberpunk 2077, CD Projekt Red's first deviation from the Witcher universe, is an action-oriented, narrative-driven, open-world RPG. Which is a mouthful. The game was announced in 2012 and officially revealed in a teaser trailer in 2013. But after that, there was nothing. After the teaser, we kind of went dormant. There was silence for four or five years, which for me and for my community team was very hard because, you know, people were very excited about the game. When we first announced the Cyberpunk, we had a certain vision of, of where we want to take it. The main difference between a pen and paper RPG and the PC game still to this date is that ultimately, while video games are nicer to look at, the freedom that you have in a pen and paper RPG is something that we have yet to achieve in any game, I would say. We can't just take what is the source material on the side or make a video game around it, but we have to be smart about it. Being smart takes time and experimentation. Over the last five years, the cyberpunk development team has been crafting an experience that they hope exceeds the expectations of fans of both the original franchise and of CD Projekt's previous output. The reason why you can really go out and just show everything is because video game development is such an iterative process, right? What we have now might not be there tomorrow. So we've had ideas that have died over the years, then they have been resurrected, then they died again and now they're back. Cyberpunk 2077 isn't only set 50 years after the source material, but it also takes place in a parallel timeline. This gave the team the freedom to create a game that respected and referenced the source material, but also suited the shift to the video game medium. For example, it was vital that the player's character, V, be fully customizable. This was a real shift for a company associated with an incredibly iconic character like Geralt. For us, it's important to give players this uh, freedom to allow them to play themselves in our world and really immerse themselves. That is also part why we have the first person perspective, right? Because you don't play as someone else, but you play as I. Got a window on the left, go! The move to first person is essential to convey the scale and verticality of Night City, the game's sprawling, neon soaked hub. But this change in perspective, combined with a completely new style of navigation, including the ability to drive, brings with it a new set of design challenges. It's easy to make an open world that when you're on foot, feels huge. But if you're in a car, it's 10 minutes. One feels like a huge world, the other like a not so huge world. And how do you balance that? How do you create the, the feeling of vastness? But those are the cool things when you challenge yourself to sort of push forward into new uncharted territory, right? And uh, you try to find new solutions to, to these problems. At E3 2018, CD Projekt Red finally revealed the first gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077 to a select audience of media and invited guests. We were so nervous and anxious to learn what people will say about the game because the hype was unreal. Soon word spread that it was the must-see game of the show. The team left E3 with over 100 media awards. But for the community of PlayStation gamers who had waited so long to see the game in action, the words of the media weren't enough. They had to see it for themselves. Two months later, their wish came true when all 48 minutes of the playthrough was made public. Their overall sentiment was amazing and the reception was great. So it was just very rejuvenating for us to, 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 to basically um, see those reactions and, and, and we're just like, whew, okay, cool, we got it. Well done, Lindsay. well done. Cyberpunk 2077 may no longer be the mystery it once was, but work on it is far from over. True to the promise made in 2013, it's still coming when it's ready.